In short moments repeated many times, open intelligence becomes obvious all the time. This is a really, really simple practice, the only practice you'll hear. It's real and it, uh, it influences everyday life. It can be brought to everyday life and it's something that has really changed my life. I can really say that deeply from my heart. Open intelligence, uh, recognizing that in short moments is not some kind of... Uh, it's just something that I could not forget. This, this training and to recognize open intelligence directly in my own experience in, in a very real way, I, I couldn't forget that. And ever since the introduction, that simple introduction of stopping thinking, seeing what remains, looking, really looking, seeing what's looking, what's hearing these words, what's sensing. I couldn't forget, I couldn't forget about this, this direct experience of the nature of mind. Not mind in terms of the brain and where that is, all of the neurons, all of the scientific things that we have come to know about this uh, bloody, skinny, bony substance, but the, the education in, in reality, in true mind. Recognizing that, wow, there's actually so many things that I just don't know about myself. I, I had assumed, I had assumed I knew what the mind was. I had assumed that I knew how to live a happy life. And then all of a sudden, I, the next day I couldn't. And the next day after that, I couldn't. Looking frantically for solutions, trying to put things in place like I've always done. And all of a sudden it didn't work anymore. Have you ever had that happen in your life? Sorting all of the happy things into your, into, into your, uh, getting them close, all of the happy experiences coming closer, and then all of a sudden, a whole bunch of negative experiences. And uh, that's an immediate failure, right? Life should be always happy and, and, and great, and that's the, the, uh, the idea of, of being successful in my life was to get as many positive experiences as I can and then a bit more a, a, a bit better than that was get get positive experiences for those people that I love as well uh, my family as well and a bit better than that was get get positive experiences for more than that as well and and but what we see when we relax and rely on open intelligence is that uh, the nature of reality and complete exaltation and enjoyment, complete enjoyment in, in everyday life experiences is so much more than sorting your life into positive, negative and neutral data. Positive, negative, neutral thoughts, emotions, sensations. Everyday life experience can be in these, this little category or it is opened up in short moments of open intelligence, recognizing that at the basis of negative, neutral, positive thoughts, emotions and sensations, the basis of all of these data streams is open intelligence shining bright, which allows us to completely retire from all of the efforts of sorting them bringing them closer to our life, getting rid of others, doing all of this effort and energy to try and fashion some kind of identity that is good, that is nice, that is friendly. So there was an immediate relaxation that I found when, when asked, what is looking? What is hearing these words? When, was, when I was supported to, to, to take a short moment. And you can recognize open intelligence again right now in a short moment. Repeated that, repeating that again and again. It becomes obvious all the time. 
that open intelligence is always on regardless of the data streams that are arising. And furthermore, from that, we have a growing relationship with data where data streams are become truly inseparable from open intelligence themselves itself. So just like the color blue in the sky is inseparable, open intelligence and data is inseparable. We recognize open intelligence shines within all of our data streams and those data streams to begin with can be a reminder simply and purely of open intelligence. They are the call to open intelligence, the recognition of open intelligence and they themselves are open intelligence, cannot be separated out. So they become very, very dear friends, teachers, each and every data stream. And uh, to support this recognition, we have the tools of the Four Mainstays. So the short moments practice, which I, which I shared with you, the teacher, the training media, and the community, everyone that you see here. It enables open intelligence to go from thinking about it to experiencing it, living it, a lifestyle. It enabled my life to change from a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, efforting to, to really achieve something. Even when I heard about open intelligence, the efforts were there to achieve it. And short moments many times relaxes all of those efforts. The ability to be with a community relaxes all of those efforts. The ability to speak to someone that has experienced all of the data streams that you, you experience too, that are a human just like you, that have the ability to perceive just like you, and to, to really see that this is available to us in not just an intellectual way, but in a livable way, in a way that... Um, so open intelligence is recognized as, as data themselves. And then we start to see that actually these data streams are not just shining with open intelligence, they're actually beneficial. All of the negative data streams have this beneficial aspect. All of the positive data streams, when recognizing open intelligence, have this beneficial aspect. It may just be intellectual to begin with, but then I started to see actually, for, take for instance, depression. Experiencing something like depression that, uh, that has come up in at times in my life in various forms, in various descriptions and not knowing how to deal with that and to apply the practice and the training here in my experience I relied on short moments many times I could see that open intelligence was the ability to perceive this depression these negative thoughts about myself or other people I relied on open intelligence for short moments I relied on the training I listened to all of the free talks, I attended trainings to really see that I didn't want to just have an intellectual idea about what that depression and open intelligence are inseparable and it's all okay. You know, I, I wanted deeply to, to know the true nature of, of depression, of negative thoughts. And so I kept on coming back, kept on showing up was encouraged just to, to, just to do that. I didn't have to do anything else, just hang out. And so that, was, that seemed simple enough for me, so I did that. I recognized again and again, I was supported to see that actually these recurring depressive thoughts, as negative as they may be, uh, enabled me to see that uh, when relying on open intelligence, that they had no power in and of themselves. That they were completely free, open, like clear sky. 
I couldn't really find it. If I looked, I couldn't really find where it began, where it stopped, and how it was affecting me. When relying on open intelligence, the, the whole descriptions of all of those negative definitions around de depression loosened up completely. And so what I found then was the beneficial aspect of, the, of this experience, of this data stream. If I can be easeful and relaxed in, in the very experience of depression, of negative data streams, knowing that there are countless other people, millions of people that experience this, that, have, that are troubled by this, if I can recognize, even just for an instant, completely flawless, clear perception, direct perception, open intelligence, then that was an incredible success. And that was of great, great benefit. That very experience is of incredible benefit to not just myself, but, but countless others. And so here we see where the nature of negative data streams are beneficial. Where I saw that I could continue to have these negative data streams and they have uh, no influence of my, in my everyday life. I could continue to have them and see that actually they are a deep connection with millions of people that have experienced this before. How lucky am I to be connected to so many people? and to know the true definition of this experience, of these data streams. How lucky am I, how fortunate am I to know the sky-like nature of, of my mind in the midst of all of these data streams. And so this, is, this was the start of recognizing how uh, all thoughts, emotions and sensations have a, a blazing beneficial aspect of open intelligence and the ability to be of great benefit in the world.